He's been doing this for over three and a half hours. I think he has a problem. Hey everybody, it's me G Hunter here, and welcome back to more Fallout New Vegas. Last time we arrived in Zion with our little caravan, and of course, of course, I was the sole survivor after we were ambushed by a new faction, the White Legs, looking to prove themselves to the Legion to, you know, join their ranks. So, as always, I gotta murder their asses. Uh, we met a couple of people. We met Paulus Chalk, uh, who uh, showed us the way to the Dead Horses camp. And we met the Burned Man, ex-Legionary, and all-around badass looking in this place, Joshua Graham. Hello. And he gave us a task to go to various pre-war sites to get supplies for another tribe and a friend of his that's located up there somewhere. So today we're going to do that, and we're also going to be doing a couple of other things. Now, before we go and... It feels good to be doing some actual scouting, not just... But you're following me, so you're technically still following. And stop interrupting me. So as I was going to say, uh, we are going to be going to those various locations, but first things first, there are a couple of detours I want to make. Two of which lead to the unique weapons hidden throughout hidden in the DLC, uh, there are more than just these two unique weapons, uh, but they're, one, they're quest related, and two, some of them are located at, like, the end of the DLC, so there's not really a point for me to go look for something I will be getting just by progressing the story. Uh, two, we need to go and get the big horner that, uh, ran off from the herd for the quest, uh, big quarters of the Eastern Virgin. So we're going to do that, because it's just a nice little walk from here, I believe. Yeah, it should be just right up this little cliff right here. So how's everyone doing? Hope you're enjoying... Hope you've been enjoying this series quite a much. I, I, I have to admit, I have been enjoying this making this series for quite some time. It has really helped me in overcoming, like, editing uh, hurdles and stuff. And although this has had a lot of technical issues in the past, I'm still happy I did this series. Uh, don't kill any of the mountain big corners. So you know what? Sure. Okay. I'll wait behind. Not like I'm not used to. I'll get over yourself. Knowing me and my past history with companions, you'll probably kill the big corners. I don't want to fail the optional objective, mostly because it actually gets me some weapons, and one of which I can sell, which I think fetches for a pretty decent price, the other is actually a weapon I can use. Oh, is that the calf? No, that is not the calf. Just gonna sneak our way past all the big corners here. Do, 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 do. do I have a magazine that might up my sneak a little bit? Uh, doesn't look like it. Damn it. Oh, no, wait. Yes, I do. I keep forgetting, like, there's an exclamation point at, like, the beginning of it, so it's like, it, it even though it has an L, it doesn't dictate that it's in an L section. I'm just gonna sneak our way over through here. This is a very green time of day, I must admit. How far is this thing? Uh, a little bit north. We just keep following these rock formations. We should be there. I think we just have to cross that rock bridge up there. And we should come across the calf that went missing. Oh, great. He's looking right at me. I don't want to kill him. Let's see if I can sneak past him. Or I know he'll probably get angry the second I get near it. Maybe my sneak will be high enough. Or maybe he just won't attack me outright. Alright, fine. Took some banana yucca. Uh, the calf should probably be in that little canyon over there. Knowing me, if I was a game designer, uh, that's where I would put it. Uh oh. The hell? Nah. Either that's an ungrown plant or it's a dead plant. Oh. 
Something's on my radar. Something tells me that is the big corner. And also, that is a huge ass Xander root. Ah, there's the calf. Hey, buddy. How's it going? You found the Lost Mountain Big Horner Calf. It looks hungry. Feed it some banana yucca. Let's do that. Get the calf to follow you back to its mother. Oh, great. So how far back is his mother? Better be the Big Horner I just saw right out here, because that would make my job easy, but knowing my luck, it, it won't. It really won't. The hell? I think we should probably get that cat back to his mother fast. What the hell are you do? Oh god. Uh, yeah, you sure? Whatever you say. Come on, let's get out of here. No, don't. There's a crazy man back there. Wait, is that the calf? No, that's not the calf. Alright, take the fruit. Let's get going. He's gonna kill the mother by the time I get there. I just know it. Is the calf following me? Yeah, he is. Oh, you stubborn little... Ugh. You know, for a travel, you seriously have some pretty good branding. You know, that is an image I never thought I would see in my life. Just, just some tribal, just, just sipping on a bottle of Nuka-Cola. Like, it's no problem after killing a bunch of Banthas. Are you the mother? Please tell me you're the mother. Return to Big Mori. Yep. Return to Calf. Hey, uh, you, you might want to be careful. There's a crazy guy coming this way. Uh, I, I'd start running if I were you two. And there's Chalk. What can I tell you? Well, I returned the calf to its herd. Had to kill a few bit. Bullshit, I had to kill a few. Your stupid warrior came up and killed them. Sure. Hey, I understand. I wish it could have been done different. But at least the calf is back with its herd. But what's left of the herd? That is bullshit that you're... You're freaking... Alright, any idea where we can look for those pre-war supplies Daniel needs? Best place to look for back when stuff is the taboo places. Sorrows and dead horses don't go in there. And even white legs don't like them much. What's taboo places? Lots of them around the valley. Places built by the folk from back when. You'll know them when you see them. Scouts mark them with handprints. The handprints are a warning to keep out. Angry ghosts live inside. Not that I believe in angry ghosts. They're just spooky old places. Right? Well, I've had a good dealing with ghosts in the past. Where should we start looking? Lots of back when places to choose from. But for the things we need, best to start with the really closed up places. Three I'll get my I know crowbar. Of, a building down by the river called a fishing lodge. The old ranger station in the northwest and the general store right by it. Closer to home might be something you can salvage from the place where the little ones fell. Just west of the eastern virgin. Uh, what's this place with a little one spell? In the river, there's a twisted pile of metal and glass, all full of bones. Joshua says they were scouts, but they looked awful small to me. 
Lots of that old stuff. Uh, how do you say it? Uh, electronics. Maybe you could use some of it. Oh. Well, there's no joke to be made about that. That's actually some pretty dark storytelling. Right, Bia? I'm not kidding when I say that's some pretty dark storytelling. We have to go there at some point because that's uh, a crash bus of Boy Scouts. And yeah, every single Boy Scout there is dead. Uh, I just depressed myself because I actually have a friend who was in the Boy Scouts. No, Eagle Scout now, but he was a Boy Scout, but whatever. Well, what would be the closest one to go to? Uh, crash... Of course, the Crash Scout bus would be the first location that's the closest to us. And then the Fishing Lodge, the General Store, and then the Ranger Station. Now, we could go there. But the, we might as well go and grab the unique weapons before we head out. And one is literally right down the road from the Dead Horses Camp. And to be honest, it's actually a pretty good weapon, especially if you're a luck user. Because its uh, ability dictates by critical damage. And with luck, it, you get the higher your luck, the better the critical. I think that also dictates with perception as well, but don't hold me on that. Ow! I just took a face full of buckshot. I forgot that this place is rigged to the brim of traps. Take that shotgun, though. Shock, you still with me? Yeah, of course you. Yeah. How's my face look? It's still pretty. I heard a sound, I thought I snapped the tripwire, and then just grenades were gonna rain down on my head again. I will take that, and I'll take the cave fungus. The fungus among us. Uh oh. That one was literally buried into the ground. I did not see any, like, red indicators. Hmm. Left or right? Left or right? Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll go right. Right has some... Okay, we're going left. I think that's the game's way of saying, Nope, go the other way, asshole. Oh, we found some water. And the exit, so we have to go right. Ow! Well... There go those grenades, and wow, I exploded so hard my body phased out of existence. All right, my body's back in. It's all nice and intact. I did not explode and have my body literally just disintegrate into nothingness. You know what? I'm going to leave that entrance over there and give it a wide berth. I'd rather take my chances with the explosives on the other side. Chalk just walking towards me like he doesn't give a shit. I don't like this place. I don't care if the reward is pretty good. The means of getting it aren't. Oh god! Burn hole! I don't like this place. And the thing is, if you can clear yourself successfully and if you're doing like a hardcore run at this game, this is actually a pretty good player base for Zion. Oh gee, I wonder what's hidden behind the teddy bear. Oh look, a mine! Totally didn't see that coming. Oh, is there a grenade bouquet above that's gonna blow my head off again? No? Figures. But we have reached the camp that's deep inside the cave. Uh, there's a there's some supplies, you can make some ammo with the powder pistols and all that stuff. You can craft, like, other things. Uh, there's some drained microfusion cells and energy cells. Don't really need anything there. But our true goal, if I can find it, in the survivalist cache, 10mm rounds, grenades, lots of things in here. Dynamite, fried grenade, I'll take the fried grenade, I'll take the microfusion, I'll take that purified water. What's this? Nah. Anything in there? Nope, just the tape and glue. Where is my prize? Okay, you two. 
should be in here somewhere. Ah, there it is. The Compl Compliance Regulator. It is another unique uh, laser pistol. And it actually, I would say, it's the most visually distinctive unique weapon in the game. <clears throat> well, in terms of what, it, what it's a unique version of, because it, this does not look anything like the box setting laser pistol. Say. I think it actually is based off another weapon that's from like the earlier Fallout games. It might have been based off the laser pistol from Fallout 1 and 2. I'll throw it up on the screen where both future me will and see what it, if it do, actually does compare to it. Oh, we can actually make something. I'll make some slasher. Damage 25 and damage resist 25. Not bad. <clears throat> Let's see what, what's the story behind this cave. Year 2077. October 28th. Five days on foot. Still can't sleep. Outside it looks like nothing happened. Sky looks wrong. That's all. Hike back to overturned Nat Guard truck near... Torkerville? Alright. After blisters heal, maybe. Looks like USGS team was researching something in here in the cave. Cleared out when bombs fell, left equipment behind, probably thought they had families to run back to. October 29th. Charm must have said this out loud a thousand times walking here. Maybe writing it will make you feel more like you're heard. You were right. I was north of Spanish Fork, took me 77, took the 77 along Bravo Bay to steer clear of town. Would have been home in an hour, engine died, truck just stopped, so did a chrysalis in other lane. Nuke hit right away. First nuke hit SLC inside a, inside a minute. I was looking south. Lucky man. Flash be, behind me, so bright world looked, looked on fire. Old couple from... Chrysalis started screaming, they couldn't see. Didn't w watch you die, Char, saved my eyes, counted 12 more flashes next seven minutes. Ground shook each time, 18 seconds later, when nothing hit half hour, took a look. Globe on fire where you and Alex died, didn't kid myself. Don't know what to do, grabbed my pack and rifle. Saw to the old couple, sat them up against, up against car, let them hold and comfort each other. Told him I was gonna get help, everything be okay, one bullet through both heads, instant. Ugh. Five days hike back to Zion. You told me stop running off to the wild man belongs with his family. You were right, you were right, you were right, you were right, you were right. Wasn't there to hold you, and my boy died without me, not much. Never touch you or him again. Should shoot myself, what I deserve. Can't, maybe soon, October 31st. Oh, it's Halloween. Huh. Kind of ironic that it's actually getting pretty close to October and I'm reading this uh, file. <clears throat> Back, black rain falling outside, Geiger jumping, shouldn't let, it, shouldn't let it kill me, but bottling water from back of cave, all the same. November 2nd, sounds dead outside but can't look, Geiger goes lethal five feet away from cave mouth. Do the math, radiation goes down before water runs out or I never leave this cave. Year 2078, two months in cave, still lethal outside, don't go, don't get out if army said two, four weeks, cleared fallout. Less than a month water left, been mopping condensation off cave walls, wrangling shirt into bottles, trading calories for H2O, food stocks holding, thanks USGS. If there was even a chance I'd see the two of you again, I'd run outside, January 10th. Something like windstorm out there for two days, radiation down 500, what happened? January 15th, took a peak, snow, it glows green. January 28th, radiation low enough, I could risk short exposure outside. More important, cave stream now drinkable if use rad drugs. January 30th, there's nothing alive out there. So this dictates a character that is known as the survivalist. Uh, he he was basically like an army ranger who was alive during the bombs fell and made his way to Zion. Had a lot of dark things happen to him and had to do a lot of things. And basically, he's a character who racked himself with survivor's guilt. There's multiple readings of his like story that are sprinkled out throughout the many locations in Zion. And if I actually do come across them, then I will read them. Uh, we probably are going to be coming across what's left of him because he's actually at one of the unique weapons in the game.
to explore all those taboo places without the other scouts yelling at me? I can't wait. I know, man. It'll be awesome. But he, he does have, actually have a pretty interesting story behind him, and I'm, if I do actually find all his journal entries, I will definitely read them in full because they are worth listening to. But for now, let's get on out and get to the first of the places we need to go to, since it's close by, and then we'll go to get the second weapon, then make our way over to the other places to get the supplies for Daniel. Where the hell are we? We spent a good enough time in there. We are much further away than I thought we were. Uh, it looks like the white welcome. Yeah, I almost said the whale come booth. The welcome booth seems to be the closest thing to the bus, so let's just fast travel there. Ah, Chuck. There's a thing called personal space. You might want to, you know, d do it. I'm stuttering more than a Rick and Morty episode. I need to fix that issue. Uh, you know what? I forgot to add the other weapon that we got for doing the big corner quest. Where is it? Not the tomahawk. War Club. I guess I'll put tomahawks over there. But it, it's it's the melee weapon of the DLC. It's not that great. There actually are mods for it, but I think... I can always go back to Joshua for mods. Oh. Tiny little rad scorpion. And a bloat fly. Can I actually hit him? Shock, don't move. Yeah, sure, you killed a scorpion. Let me shoot this damn fly. Shoot fly, don't bother me. I missed. You know, without all the lights and people shooting at me from the Mojave, this is probably the most peaceful night sky I've seen. A lot of people give this DLC crap, but you know what? I actually find it to be one of my favorites. I would say it's my second favorite DLC in the game. Okay, third DLC. I do like the fourth DLC a little bit more because it actually goes into the backstory of your character, and the story of it is pretty good. Okay, fine. It's, it's on par as a second. It's on par with the final DLC. That's what I'll say. But yeah, this is just a nice, peaceful, quiet, and relaxing place to go look around. The sky looks amazing. I like the, I like the moon. I like just the, the night sky, the stars. It's just really nice to be at. It also introduced in this game something that made me go, Oh my god, I can't believe they actually did this. The, the absolute madmen. But I might as well wait for the surprise to actually happen. I was in the canyon with the bus. Go me for being an idiot. Here's the bus. Chalk, are you okay? See this? This is why your own two feet are better than any cart. Whether it's pulled by critters or goes on its own. Yeah, I ain't touching this with a 20-foot pole. Let's just get what we need and get out of here. This is some dark, dark imagery, ladies and gentlemen. Broken compass. This compass is broken, but it possibly can be restored to fully functioning state. Repair 30, a greater required. We can repair the compass, repair it with parks, or just take the broken compass with me. Eh, why don't we repair it? Alright, let's get out of here before I depress myself even more. Because, yeah, I I'm not going to touch that with a 20-foot pole. I it's a bus full of dead kids. What can you do? Obsidian, what was going through your heads when you thought that was a good idea? I mean, I'm all for dark storytelling, but that might have taken it a little bit too far. Alright, so the location we need to go to for the other unique weapon is, I believe, right... Uh, was it... forget if it was right there or right there. I'm, I'm gonna go to right there in the marker, 
just because it's a roadway, so it leads straight to it. Uh, basically, we get a look for the remains of the survivor that I talked about earlier back in the cave. Because the unique weapon that we have is his rifle. And is that just a random card plunged deep into the river? Man, it is so nice and peaceful here. We discovered the Virgin River! There's two marker locations, so one of them has to be it. There's one over there as well, so that might also be it as well. Hmm. There's too many locations here! Oh, God. I thought I saw a bullet whiz over me. That might have just been a graphical glitch. It's a, it's a dog! Look at little dog! Look at little dog! It's not a little dog, it's a large dog. He looks adorable. Coyote, on the other hand, not so much. No! Why'd you have to kill the dog? Oh! He was a good doggo. He wasn't harming us. Garrity on their hand, they can go die in a fire for all I care because it was actually acting aggressively. Oh, so we're gonna die in a fire? Nope. Something else is moving over there. I don't like it. I don't like the fact that one of the enemies is here is more Cazadors, and they're actually very plentiful and also very random. Yeah, the thing about Zion is the enemy dictates are placed at random. There's no like specific areas that they put that they are put in. Oh, it's just a mantis. That they're put in like the Mojave is. I do like the random nature because it's just, you know, the wildlife. Just you know, just trying to survive out here. Where would the location be? It wouldn't be that, I know for sure, because that's across the river. Maybe over back here? Possibly. Does kind of look like the area I was thinking of. I don't know, we'll take that. Got a tomahawk in his back. Hmm. There's a road up ahead, so I might as well take that. Bighorn Bluff. Okay, found the bluff, but where's the bighorn? Or is that just based off a rock formation? Knowing me, it's probably a rock formation. There's a ranger station up there, so why don't we go pay that a visit, see if there's anything of value we can snag from up in there. I don't want, to, I don't want this video to just be me aimlessly trying to look for that one location. I do actually want to at least get all the supplies for Daniel and and get to the Sorrows Camp before... Ranger Station Eagle. Uh, get to the Sorrows Camp before the video ends. I think what's in here? Is there anything of value? Potato chips, pork and beans. Very hard lock, which means there's gotta be something of significant value inside. If I can actually get into it. Come on. Come on. Come on, lock. Don't be stupid. Damn it. There we go. Eh, just a hunting rifle. Uh, what's Basiana at? Feels good to be doing some actual eh, it's at just almost full. Old. There's something down here. Is there, is there another doggo? Yes, it is. I'm going to stay away from it before bludgeon happy follows over here is going to beat the poor thing to death again. Ugh. Where is this location at? Maybe it was a bit more to the north.
Actually, that might be it right there. If I can just find a way to get up, up that cliffside. That is a big mantis, even for the giant mantises. No, that's across the river again. Is it? Yeah, it is. Actually, no. I thought that was a camp over there. Because I think that might have been like where another one of those survivalist uh, journal entries is. Or, well, a journal entry pertaining to the survivalist. Because there, he did uh, interact with some people here in the valley before he died. I think I'm I, I'm probably a little too far north to even be at the right location. So I finally like, part of me thinks that it is right on top of this little thing. The other scouts yelling at me. I can't wait. Yeah, but I'm going to start yelling at you if you don't shut up about the fact that you're so excited to explore all those places. Ah, yes, this was the location. The Red Gate. Sounds like a place where a bunch of filthy fucking commies are. But here it is. They're survivalists. Or, well, what's left of them. Does he even actually have a lower jaw? Oh, yeah, he did. Hell of an underbite. Inside the duffel bag, we've got some ammo, bottle cap, we've got a cowboy hat, combat knife, egg timer, junk food, Maddox, and his rifle. Also, year 2124. Let's take a read, shall we, and see what how his story wrapped up. Yeah, we, also we got the journal entries for his other, st other year, so that's good. January 2nd, I've been leaving notes for them, my gifts. <laughs> They liked the books, started with stories, but moved on to weapons manuals, medical books, practical stuff. And the notes, well, it's embarrassing. Almost like those cards people use to give each other everything sweet and loving. I tell them to read and learn to make the most of their new home. I tell them that I'm giving them Zion as a gift to make up for the sorrows of their lives so far. And all the sorrows man has visited upon man. I tell them to be kind to each other and modest. I tell them to never hurt each other, but if that someone else is doing along and tries to hurt them, to strike back with righteous anger. Stuff like that. I sign every note the father because, well, just because. January 18th. Have I mentioned that I'm dying? <laughs> That's like the story of my life. I, I want to say that when, like, my time has officially come, just make a tweet on Twitter, just be like, have I mentioned that I'm dying? Mine's still sharp, lungs the problem, might be cancer. Cough's been getting worse for months, finally there's blood in it. Getting harder to visit my little friends, breath's so short. I've given away most of what I own, they find the rest in caves when they get a little older. I don't want them to find, though, the father is a broken down old man. Disappointment. It's time. I don't want another birthday. January 23rd. It's cold enough that I won't last long in this high mound up next to Red Gate. I think I've had enough breath left in me to make it. I just lie down and stare at the sky. Feels right. I hope they'll do well. I hope no harm comes to them. From within or without, did my best to prepare them for, prepare them with little, with the last few notes. Said something kind about each other of them. What makes each one special? Told them the father was pleased by their kind natures and that I, it would be up to them to handle things on their own. From now on, I'd like to be silent, but still watching and still caring. Laying the, lying then, oh yes, lied to you, Char, Char and Alex and Silvi. Okay. Told you I'd be with you forever, but I wouldn't go back to the, uh, back and unsay what I, ugh, I, but I wouldn't go back to say, unsay it once I could. What was the point of it all? So many failures, but I never forgot your face. Our little nuts, ugh. Um, 
Okay, that line... Yeah, I don't know what to make heads or tails of it. Or, sorry, Sylvie's. They used to say they happened after a while, but never did for me. Maybe the only point of this living was to keep those pictures in my head, going for as long as I could. It was only life that I could... Could... It was only life that I could give you, not a day w went by without. It wasn't choice, cho I chose to die again and again, just neither did. Body had its own drive. Well, the little ones will need it, species will need it if it is to continue, the blind drive onwards. I wish them well, it has been a gift to me, and the end of it all, I behold innocence. Goodbye, Zion. Randall Dean Clark, February 5th, 2053 to January 21, 24. So yeah, it's an interesting story if you can actually find all his, uh, all his, like, notes, all his, like, computer recordings and everything that pertains to him in the DLC. But why don't we take a look at his rifle, since we just got it. Uh, it's a unique version of the, what was, what was it, the, it wasn't the, it, it's the NCR rifle. It's not a marksman rifle, it's, uh. I forget what it's called. I'm sure Future Me is probably screaming that, that it's this, you idiot. Why can't you just remember the simplest thing? But then again, I never really used that weapon back in, in the early story. It was good for, like, the beginning of the game, but as things got on, went on, and, you know, I got better weapons, I really had no use for it. But it looks pretty cool. The only issue is that the sights on it are a little bit skewed. That's because the, the thing on it at the end got broken, and it's like bending to the side a little bit so you have to use like the reticule over there and also I see a white legs I want to test this thing out on. Do I have any special ammo? No I don't. It also sounds like thunder every time you pull the trigger and it's awesome. Alright so what would be the best second location to go to? We got the unique weapons, so I don't really have m much need to explore. Court Fork Overlook. Uh, well, the Zion... Eh, actually, the general store is actually the next... It's pretty close. It's literally just down the road, so I might as well go to that. Search the Zion General Store for five little scout... For five little scout bo lunch boxes, and search the ranger station for a medical supply kit. And I want to take that marker off. There we go. I ain't gonna bother with the... Eh, you know what, might as well. He always usually has some ammo on them. If I can actually find what's left of his body... Oh, well, there's a... There's a little bit of him left. Nectar, casings, firebombs, I'll take that. And weapon binding ritual. The hell? Heal per perception and limb damage. Restore limb condition, melee damage, and unarm damage. But it takes away health. Huh. All right, then. Yeah, best bet is just to stick to the road. Oh, it's so nice and peaceful. Just a nice, brisk walk out in nature. Just enjoying the night sky, the fresh mountain air, the sound of bullets whizzing past my head. Ah... This is the wasteland life. Mm. Price, they keep saying that the White Legs have overrun Zion, but aside from like the initial encounter at the start of here when we ride with the caravan and also that one random guy that we came across back there, they don't seem to really have a good tight hold on this place. And of course, now that I say that, I'm going to be ambushed by like six of them. Jock? Jock? Music started up, so it's like shit went down, but I don't know where. Yeah, whatever. Let's just get inside the general store. Oh. 
the battle gong has been oh god that is that is a true giant mantis so i finally get to explore oh, but it scared the hell out of me when it when it did yelling at me can't wait Yes, you get to explore the taboo places. You're actually inside, so please stop complaining about it or stop being so excited about it. We get it. The dead horses have thought that places of the old world were taboo. Doesn't look so spooky to me. Well, that's because, you know, it's not. Blocks of detergent. Coffee. It's inside the vending machine. You got some sarsaparilla. Uh, if I remember right, one of the snow globes, or well, the the honest heart snow globe should be inside here. Oh, what kind of general store sells a silenced pistol? Little tight scout lunchbox. That's what we came here for. Found the key to the locked desk in Zion General Store. No shit, game. The fact that he has his weapon drawn still means that there is still some baddies back here. Eh, I was right. I shot him into the void. Lunchbox in here, some money. I don't know what the terminal's for. Oh, yep. No, didn't want the rake, I want the lunchbox. Thank you. Up in the cabinet. Sam, let's see what's let's see what this terminal has to do. And the password is named... Named. Uh... Shipping error. This is Horace Applebaum. <laughs> Out at the Zion General Store. I placed an order three weeks ago for the Deluxe Mountain Man All of One Survival Kits. You know, the ones that come with a compass, a pair of walkie-talkies, and a full first aid kit. I ran to you because as of today... 6 15 2057 I still haven't received the shipment. I'm fresh out of the kits here and I and with the summer tourist season picking up, I really need new ones ASAP. Thanks. Horse. Bus tour. Thanks for the follow up. You'll be happy to know that the little scout lunch boxes you ordered have arrived. You can pick them up from the general store when you arrive in Zion. The general store is open Monday through Saturday. 7 a.m. till nightfall, we look forward to seeing you and your scouts on Independence Day. All the best, Horace Applebum. Mandy, who the hell is running this shipping company? I have just received three crates of Dinky the Dinosaur, trademark, officially licensed dino action dolls. These things were supposed to go to some tourist trap in Nevada. How the hell did they get here? Mandy, what the hell can I do with this stuff? Maybe if we file off the dinky trademarking, we can turn them around as kitty souvenirs and make a few bucks, but I'm still looking at a major loss here. Whatever's going on at your shipping department, take care of it or I'll find somebody else who can find somebody else to handle my orders. I swear to God, yours, Horace. P.S. Still haven't received that order of survival gear I requested last month. You know, things that can actually sell to people? Huh. So where's the dinky? Where can I get some dinky the dinosaur? The There's no dinky in here, is there? Monster men aren't needed ah, there it is. Wonder where they came from. What what green monster men? Don't tell me there are super mutants here. Oh, but well, to take up my mind off the the dread of the fact that there might be super mutants or worse in Zion. We found a limited edition Mojave Landmark Snow Globe. Snow Globe has been added to the collection at the Lucky 38, and also 2,000 bottle caps have been added to my account. Very, very nice. Is that all the... No, there's... It says there's still a couple more things in here. Ah, there you are. 
Anything else? Nope, that's all the lunch boxes. Notice how it just says the lunch boxes. It didn't say that they're fully stocked lunch boxes. I mean, I guess they're we're giving them to Daniel as something to like preserve the food there. Oh no, a tiny little bark scorpion. I'm so scared. Is that on a ranger station? All right, inside the ranger station. Oh no, another little bark scorpion. Oh, what will we do? The inhumanity. They're dead. You're telling me. Ask Trey. Uh, what exactly are we looking for? Rod Hutton, Brad Hyde, and Nick and Well, that's that thing. Gotta love bloody mess. Ah, the survival kits. The medical supply kit is mostly intact, but several of the sterile bandages have been broken open and the disinfectant bottle is leaking. You can try to salvage what there is, or you can find replacements in the containment for the contaminated components. Alternatively, you can use alcohol to re-sterilize the bandages. Medicine 30 or greater re required. So it's medical supplies, replace the contaminated components, sterilize the kit with alcohol, try to take the incomplete medical kit. Uh, you know what, let's sterilize it. With some high proof alcohol, you could sterilize the kit rather than replace components. Requires one scotch, one vodka, one whiskey. Okay, what about contaminate components? We need duct tape and turpentine. And what about replacements? Nope! They just always took it without. Is, huh? Even if it can't see the stars? Well, I hope Daniel likes leaky supplies and medical supplies and all that stuff. Due to the fact that my dumbass reacts faster than my brain can actually handle. Why does a ranger station have missiles in it? Man, they were really adamant about t that Yogi Bear incident with the picnic baskets. Like, the rangers are now out for blood against him. Oh my god, actual weather! In a Fallout game. Yeah, this is actually the one big thing that I that really caught my attention was the fact that there is actual rain and weather, and oh my god, it's so underwhelming, but so great because you don't actually ever see it in any of the Fallout games, except for four. But that was like changing weather, like it was going out of style and all that stuff. And why is there just a random white legs over here? Also, is that a Legion dog? Same model, but not the actual Legion dog. Nothing personal, buddy. Mantis Gauntlet and Purified Water. Nothing of value. Nothing of value at all. Probably could have picked up the Mantis Gauntlet from Mick and Rouse before coming here, but nah, whatever. I ain't even gonna try and pronounce that. Let's just get over to the fishing lodge and get the last of the supplies. Hopefully I can look out better there than I can back at the ranger station. Oh, it's it's so it's such a minute detail that they added to this place, but it's so welcome. It, it's just, it, yeah, this this game is a very brown game, but, you know, just the little thing that they add to it, plus all the, like, the trees and all that stuff, it really is, like, a nice change of pace from, like, the brownness of the Mojave, the redness of the Sierra Madre. Uh, what to use? Pistol? Nah. 
I haven't used an rifle a good amount. Grenade launcher, that's overkill. Unless the situation calls for it, like if I run into a Cazador out here. Or possibly a Yaogoi, but I think... More of those guys? God, you guys are... Remember when I said we, were, we had little to no run-ins with these guys? Well, I tell you that back now, they were just all lying in wait. The hell? Oh, he's got a shish kebab. I didn't... I forgot these guys actually carried that weapon. Yeah, the White Legs actually do have some pretty powerful weapons in their arsenal. I have no idea what you just said, but you're dead now. Well, the fact that it's 500 milligram ammo can only mean one thing. And that thing is, I probably shot off into the next area code. But something tells me he, that person was carrying an anti-material rifle. How much is this shish kebab worth? 754. It only weighs 3 pounds, so why not? Zion Fishing Lodge. I swear, if I find Meyer Lurks or Lake Lurks in here, I'm just gonna, you know, like, just be like, done! Chance, did they? Nope, geckos. Gotcha. Feels good to be doing some actual scouting. Hey, you're just running scared. Tell me about it. Alright, so what is there to get inside the fishing lodge? What would you get inside a fishing lodge? Oh, walkie-talkies, of course. Some whiskey, some vodka, some redneck fishing equipment. The Liver of Sorrows. Anything here? Oh, the cabinet key. Alright, so now that we got all the supplies and we got pretty much the other stuff that we... The unique weapons. Let's head off to the Sorrows Camp. How far is it? I know it's to the north. Eh, pretty far north. Eh, you know what? Let's go to the ranger station. That's the closest location from... There to the Sorrows Camp. So we'll just use that to save us some time. Ah, Chuck, we need to really talk about this personal space issue. And you know what? Before we head off to what the Sorrows Camp, you? let's talk to Chuck real quick. Uh, what's with this obsession you seem to have to with civilization? When I was a boy, a man came through the valley with one of the caravans. Tall man, big mustache, carried a guitar. I asked what he did for his living. And the interpreter told me he was a singer. What is that? I asked. The man explained that he went from place to place and sang for people, who gave him food and shelter and care in return. I couldn't believe that there was a place in this world where a man could do that. I promised myself then that one day I'd explore that world myself. What does Joshua I, think of this? Um, I haven't told him yet. Never had the growins. The what? Really? Well, maybe I could talk to him. Talk to him about it for you. Be a neutral party. You'd do that? Sure. Sounds smart to me. He might not get so mad at you. Go with All Fortune, right, then. Friend. A civilized man's burden. But that's going to be a burden for another time. Need to go back and talk to Joshua about his desire for civilization. But I say we go to the Sorrows first and meet up with Daniel and get them su the supplies that they need before we decide to go back to the Dead Horses camp. I see a lot of good things in there. A lot of good things. 
Well, maybe not everything's good. Just a, a portion of it. Like the microfusion cells. I don't think actually anything in this DLC actually uses microfusion cells unless you brought like a like a plasma rifle or laser rifle or plasma caster or whatever. Are you pins casing I'll take the stim pack. I'll take this ranger hat. Why not? Oh, I already got one. I forgot I picked the one up last time. I look like an idiot. But you know what? I'll go with it. You know what? Uh, take my put my regular glasses on. Well, I kind of look rangery now. I mean, the outfit does kind of work. I wish I had like a merc uh, grunt outfit or something that would fit more as a ranger. Native to Zion. Wonder where they came from. Oop. Oop. Uh, for a second, I thought there were like two geckos down there I had to take care of. But nope, we should be coming up upon the Soros camp. It should just be right in this old canyon. Yeah, better part of me probably wants to get this map marker right here real quick. Caterpillar's Mound. Too bad there's no actual caterpillars here. I'm sad. I'm gonna get it. It kind of looks like a caterpillar. You know, if you close one eye, tilt your head, close your other eye, then let your imagination do all the work for you, then yeah, it does look like a caterpillar. My god, it's the tree things from Mario Galaxy! Are they gonna be staring down at me from up there? They're just gonna keep following me? Oh hey, it hollowed out log. Anything good in here? Corn! Yes, because that's where you always should store your corn and logs. But we have arrived at the Soros camp. You are the one Joshua Graham sent to us. Blessings of the father in the cave on you. Daniel is waiting for you. I like your bear glove. Where can a I get one? Soros Yaogwai fist is a sacred symbol. It shows that we belong to the tribe and have willingly undertaken a dangerous quest to aid the tribe. Each sorrow makes his own, and only after hunting and slaying a Yao Guai that threatened our people. Our shaman, White Bird, oversees the rites. Perhaps if you spoke to him, he would allow you to undertake such a quest. Hmm, well that sounds like something I'll have to look forward to in the future. Alright, so how about we get some manual info in this Daniel, Daniel character? Daniel is a wise man and a great friend to the Sorrows. He taught me to speak the language of New Canaan, the English from the Holy Books. Uh, Holy yes. Books? The language of the New Canaanites is the Holy Tongue, for it is the language their sacred books are written in. The Father in the Caves brought it to them after the Judgment. But the ancestors of the Sorrows sinned against him. They were denied the true tongue. Have you known Six him long? Six years. He attended the birth of my third child. It was a hard birth. The river nearly carried my water to the father, and my child's with it. Daniel knew the ways of New Canaan's medicine. He stepped in and saved both of our lives. After the birth, I asked Daniel if he would teach me what he knew of childbirth. He agreed, and so here I am. So, uh, I, not to be culturally insensitive, if, you know, tribals in, like, the post-apocalyptic future actually have a culture. Is that, like, tribal markings on your face, or did you just get some bleached? Alright, let's talk about something else. Uh, tell me a little bit we about the tribe. We have in the Narrows since the end that came in fire. When the Father in the Caves punished the world and made us forget the Holy Tongue. We have had good relations with the other tribes in the Valley. 
at least before salt upon wounds brought his white legs here. We have Daniel to thank for our continued existence. His advice and help has kept the white legs from overrunning us so far. I do not know how long even he can protect us, though. Well, it's a good thing I'm here. Waking What's your Cloud deal? Cloud is my name. I am midwife to the sorrows. It sounds ill omen, no? Midwife to sorrows. Midwife, I haven't seen any children, children around. The children and the old have already been evacuated from the camp. They are safe enough, unless the white legs come for us in force. Uh, what do you do when you're not delivering I tend children? I other hurts and sicknesses that afflict our tribe. I also scout the valley for the herbs I use in my medicines. Also, why do you have a turkey displayed on your the back of your neck? Alright, what about this salt upon wounds? He sounds like someone that you'd see playing like a StarCraft game, or is like someone who like Twitch streams he a is lot. War chief of the White Legs. It gets and very angry at the littlest of, of things. The tribes he has crushed are many. The warriors he has slain, countless. Uh, who or what is the Have father in the cave? Have you not heard of the god of the new Canaanites? He is our protector and our judge. He helped our ancestors find their place here in Zion. He gave us many gifts, but we are not to seek him out. His caves are forbidden to us. Those who seek them out are taken from us. That doesn't sound like what I've heard about the Perhaps New Canaanites. you do not fully understand the New Canaanites. I have seen the Father's images. His Holy Bride and Holy Son were given unto the world to save it. They dwelt in the caverns of the mountains, caverns which can still be seen today. The people sinned against him and were punished with the end that came in fire and the loss of the holy tongue. Only the new Canaanites were spared. I see. Well, that's I'm fascinating. Sure also, I found what was more. left of him. His knowledge of the Father is greater than my own. Yes, I, I have his holy rifle on my back right now. Then I will look forward to our next speaking. Well, we finally made it to the Sorrows camp. Now if we can just find this Daniel character, and we should be set. Something tells me he's on the upper areas, though. Please tell me that there's like a hill or something that can go up. Please? Game? You're not going to make this easy for me, are you? No, nope, wait, maybe you are. I see a little hilly area. Thank you for making this a little bit easier on me. I do appreciate it, although my shoes are now very sulky. Ah, you must the be Daniel. told me details about the attack on your caravan. A stranger's sympathy might not count for much, but for what it's worth, I'm sorry. The Sorrows will mourn your friends, too. They mourn everyone, even the White Legs. They have sensitive souls. Innocent, if there is such a thing. In spite of what's happened, I hope that Joshua and I can help you out of here. But to be frank, we need your help, too. Of course. Who doesn't need my help in this world? Joshua told me you needed a few things. I think well, this I'll is be. everything. I was starting to lose hope we'd be able to get any of this, much less all of it. Tribals are smart, but, well, they're ignorant. <sighs> Letting go of a taboo is difficult for them. So I knew it would have to be one of us. Turns out all it took was a Gentile, or, uh, no offense. These supplies are a godsend. But if we're going to evacuate Zion without drawing more white leg attention, I need you to go back into the valley. Specifically? I need you to scout out some locations for White Legs and try to recover a map of Grand Staircase, a wilderness area to the east. There's also the matter of the roads. We're going to be heading out of the east side of the park, but I'm not sure the way is clear. Hey, anything to help, I guess I'll I do what I can. Enthusiasm. There aren't a lot of people in the wasteland with kindness to spare for anyone who isn't kin. Since you've been poking around the valley, you might see more activity from the White Legs. One of the Sorrows hunters, Waking Cloud, 
has volunteered to help guide you through the valley. She has a special talent for staying out of sight. After this, it's just a matter of getting everyone out of here safe and sound. And hopefully, you can head back to the Mojave without any more trouble. But I really don't want to go back to the Mojave. There's a war going on there. I came to Zion to get away from the war. Explosives are always handy. Daniel has given you some pre-war mining explosives and a special detonator for them. They aren't as useful as a weapon, but they could collapse certain caves if that proves necessary in your exploration. Well, here we part ways. I'm needed back at the Dead Horses camp. Maybe I'll see you there sometime. Are you sure? You've been a useful companion so Sorry. far. Joshua was pretty clear. Get you to Daniel, then come on home. You can take it up with him if you'd like. All right, well, give my regards to Joshua then. Good gunning, Akis. What did you just call me? Oh my God! Who knew tribals knew how to teleport around the place? So yeah, we got a lot of work to do if we're gonna help make Zion a less shitty place. We have got to. We get over to the quest. Find a map to the Grand Staircase region and seek out Waking Cloud out and talking to asking her if she could be a guide. Uh, we need to wipe out White Leg encampments at Bighorn Bluff, steal the White Legs war totems from their encampments, deal with the White Legs camp. Uh, we need to kill the White Legs planting the traps, disarm the traps on the bridge, and deal with the White Leg traps. And also kill the Yagwai at Pine Creek, collapse the Yagwai cave, and deal with the Yagwai at Pine Creek. Yes, first and third sounded very repetitive, but you know what? That is just the way the sorrows roll. However, I think that's probably going to be saved till next time. We made a lot of progress. We got two unique weapons. We got a little bit of a backstory of a character that is kind of overlooked in playthroughs of Honest Hearts. We also found Whitebird's Cave. That wasn't intentional, but I decided to go with it. I just wanted to get out of the rain, even though... Actually... Oh no, I thought this game was actually going to be so advanced that they actually had texture limitations to, like, make the rain go around, like, the interiors of, like, struts and stuff. But no. This game wasn't innovative for some things, but wasn't too innovative. But next time on Fallout New Vegas, we're going to be going back into the valley to help out the Sorrows. And see if we can do anything to help get the White Legs out of Zion. See you guys next time. Later. Later.